What a car. What a car. Welcome back to the AAA MF YouTube channel. We've recently done a review of a 718 Spider, so today I thought we'd bring along a Cayman GT4 2019 model. Now, why have I brought this along? First of all, because it's beautiful sunshine and I haven't been out in this car for a while. But what's interesting about the new GT4, it laps the Nürburgring in exactly the same time as this. Seven minutes, 24 seconds for the new GT4. That's astonishing given that this was the pinnacle of the 911 back in 2011 and it has nearly 500 brake horsepower and they're lapping the Nürburgring in exactly the same time for a fraction of the price because there's only 600 of these in the world and they command quite a big premium. So what else is interesting about the new GT4 is it also has a four litre flat six engine, but it's not the same four litre flat six in this. This is the Metzger engine. The new four litre engine is the new 992. They've removed the turbos and they've bored it out to four litres. So is it gonna sound good? Let's see. Let's see what it's like to drive. How good does that look? That front spoiler really makes a huge difference. It really comes out quite far and it gives the, the new 718 Spider and the new GT4 a really aggressive look at the front. I've said it before in my last video of the 718 Spider, I love the new styling of this car. Really love the new styling and this is no different. Let's go to the back of the car where there's the biggest change on the GT4. So you've got the new lights, which you can see, and this new rear diffuser, with the exhausts either side, really lovely styling on Porsche, really, really nice. Now, what's interesting, this car is heavier than the old GT4, heavier. Particulate filters add a lot of weight and reduce the noise, as we know from the 718 Spyder. Now, another thing that's really interesting, this car says that it lists at 75,000 pounds, but no one pays 75,000 pounds for these cars. This car is 91,000 pounds on the road. Why? It doesn't even have ceramic discs on it. So the increase over the standard car comes from the carbon bucket seats, which are really nice. The club sport package, which has the roll cage, fire extinguisher. It's a lot of money, 91,000 pounds for a GT4, a lot of money. But we're gonna talk more about the price after we've driven it. So let's jump in. All these carbon seats are nice. And this one has got the red dials, which I really, really like. So we're gonna make sure that we switch on the sports exhaust and the auto blip. Here we go. Now, what's it like to drive? It's lovely. It's lovely. It's so nice taking a car with a naturally aspirated engine all the way up to 8,000 RPM. It's so, so intoxicating. For the money, it's phenomenal. I've driven quite a few GT4s recently and I've owned a GT4, so is it better than the old car? It's definitely not night and day. Yes, it handles the road better, for sure. It 
goes up to 8,000 RPM, which is really, really nice and enjoyable, makes it more fun. I mean, this is a phenomenal car. Really, really, really phenomenal car. When you think about the fact that I've just jumped out of a GT3 RS 4 litre, which is one of the best Porsches they've ever made, and I'm having just as much fun in this, which lists for 75,000 pounds, you've really got to take your hat off to Porsche for producing such driver-focused cars. Wow. The steering is so sharp. The gearbox is so nice. The short shift gearbox is so nice to go up and down. It's so quick. It's so engaging. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Now, one, one bugbear on this car, the noise. Does it sound as good as the old one? Definitely not. Does it matter? Debatable. This is a great car. The more I drive it, the more I love it. I think that in the Spider version, you expect to have a lovely engine noise because you've got the roof down. And so maybe it's a little bit more important to hear the engine Whereas this, not as important. It's definitely not as loud as the old car. It's definitely not as loud as my box, the Spider. But the handling is so tight. Oh! You just want to drive and drive and drive. Oh! I love it, I love it. That engine. Every time you think you've run out of power, it still has another 2000 RPM to give you. It's so direct. The feedback from the steering is wonderful. Yes, yes. What a great car. I'm in second gear and I can't get out of I can't get out of second gear because it just gives you so much power in second gear. I'm not sure why but I'm enjoying this more than the 718 Spider, and I'm not sure why. Maybe this is just a better, better car because it's a coupe, it's more rigid. I really love it. It actually brings back memories of my last car. I used to have a lot of fun in my old GT4. I did remember that in the wet, it was horrendous. Rear wheel drive, mid engine, racing tires. In the wet, they're a little bit of a handful. But on a day like this, with the sun out, fairly dry roads, it's really, really hard to beat this car for the money. The engine actually has a little whine. It's not a raspy noise, but as you wind it up, the engine makes this kind of nice whiny noise. On the downshifts, you don't hear the same noise you do with the old model or the box, the Spider from the old generation. It's definitely missing that lovely, lovely rasp. But as a driver's car, wow. OMG, I love this car, it's phenomenal. 
I recently did the review of the 718 Spider, and I did not have as much fun in the 718 Spider as this. This feels much more planted. It feels like a track car. I absolutely love it. I am going to say something quite controversial, but I think you can have as much fun in this as that. And we're talking about £90,000 as opposed to right-hand drive, £400,000, so a quarter of the price. I really, really, really like it. I really like it. Let's run through some points then. What's different? The chassis on this car is absolutely sensational. However, the engine, although it is really, really good, it's not a GT engine. It's not a GT3 engine. And the difference between this and that is that when you go from second gear into third gear, this one shoves you right in the back. It almost feels like a turbo. And the noise that this gives you from second to third is just, it's tingling tingling whereas this one it just winds up and winds up and winds up it's a great car but it's no gt3 i don't actually know why i enjoyed this much more than the 718 spider i think because in the 718 spider you put the roof down you change down and you don't hear any noise whereas in my box the spider when i have the roof down and i change down i hear that lovely engine from the 3.8 liter flat six from the carrera s which is one of the best sounding engines I've ever heard actually in a naturally aspirated car. This one, you don't focus as much on the engine noise because you're enjoying the chassis too much and you're enjoying the drive. And that surge when you go from 6,000 to 8,000 RPM is just, oh, you just wanna keep doing it all day long. Now, second gear in this, 88 miles an hour. So you can't actually enjoy this car on the road. I would love to take this on a track. Maybe the owner will let me take it on a track. This is the best track car that you can buy for the money. That car, I've taken it on the track and it's also sensational, but do you really want to be taking a car that's worth three or 400,000 pounds around a track when you can have nearly as much fun for 100,000 pounds? Now, finally, let's get on to two other points, the noise. This does not sound great. I'm sorry, Porsche, it just doesn't. Is it better than the old car? I think it is better than the old car. I prefer the driving position, it's slightly different. The handling's better, the styling is better. I love it, it's a sensational car, but it doesn't sound great. So, you're gonna have to fiddle with the exhaust to make it sound better. The old one definitely sounds better and the old box, the Spider, sounds better. Lastly, let's talk about the price because this is listed at 75, but it's not 75. This car is 91 and it doesn't have ceramics. 91,000 pounds. Given the state of the car market at the moment, you can get a lot for, for 91,000 pounds. You could even get a McLaren 570 and a 991 GT3 with the PDK gearbox is now close to 90,000 pounds. What would I prefer? Now that's a really, really tough question. I want to hear your views. Would you prefer a GT4 brand new or a McLaren 570S or a 991 GT3? I can't answer that question. I want to hear your views. I think I'd be tempted to buy a McLaren 570 Spider for around 110 and then I can put the roof down. But hats off to Porsche. This is a phenomenal phenomenal car and in a year's time when prices come down and it's gone down from 90 down to around 80,000 pound I think it's going to be a real bargain I really really like it but for now I'm going to jump back into the four liter which is probably the best Porsche they've ever made and I look forward to seeing you on the next video we've got amazing content coming up